Let's go with y'all gang. Let's go with y'all gang. Today I'm back y'all with a little story time, bro. And this story time is a story time I've told before on my old channel, bro. It's just that I have so many um new supporters and so many new people on the new channel that um a lot of y'all don't even know these story times. And a lot of y'all were like, y'all were telling me to drop the edible story time because I've been talking about it. Y'all were like, drop the edible story time. We're trying to hear it because a lot of y'all still haven't heard it. And I'm sorry for like the older viewers that already know this story time bro like trust i got some shit dropping for y'all i'll probably drop another banger later on today but yeah bro um this is how my cousin went to the let me let me smack the plug play by the way this is a brand new different a brand new plug play brand new flavor berry game yeah bro it's on fire bro i'm not gonna lie they bear i don't know when they drop berry game but i know that um it's pretty new i guess because i've never tried it And I've seen all the plug play flavors. And this shit tastes bomb. It tastes like a... Y'all know the Stizzy flavor Blue Dream? It tastes like Blue Dream. And y'all know the Blue blue Burst Stizzy flavor? It tastes like Blue Burst and Blue Dream mixed together, bro. Literally. But, um, yeah. um. Alright, bro. So, this all started off... <coughs> Me and my cousin, right? We were chilling. Um, just posted up. And we are always cheaping, like, little joints here and there, bro. Um, we weren't too like heavy on chiefing yet. Like we we're mainly on like little joints here and there. My cousin had been chiefing for a minute, but he always just a light chiefer like that, like a couple joints a day. You know what I'm saying? Like, but now we do the dives and all that. But yeah, this was when I was fairly barely chiefing, right? So like my tolerance was hella low, and my cousin's tolerance is steady low, just because he don't really chief much. He don't hit cards. He don't hit like dives. You know, he's just mainly just little joints, like little one gram joints quick low not even a gram sometimes like 0.7 in that bitch you know what i'm saying like he's just a quick little um old school kind of smoker you know but yeah bro this all started i don't know um what particular day it was bro but i know we we're chilling we we're bored bro we we're trying to get smacked right so we hit we we're i seen this plug that was selling edibles bro because at the time i was still a youngin bro y'all know i got a medical and all that now but yeah at the time i was still a youngin so i really couldn't go to the dispo i couldn't order off weed maps i couldn't do any of that <clears throat> so um what ended up happening was we ordered this thousand milligram edible right and it was a brownie right a little brownie a little ass brownie but on the pictures it didn't look small right so um yeah, we hit this one up, and man, this was all like, yeah, it's 20-something bucks. I think it was 20 flat or 25, I don't remember. But bro pulls up in his hoopty, bro. Bro pulls up, like, in a hoopty, and mind you, this plug that's pulling up to my crib, I'm, like, 17, 16. Nah, I'm, like, 16 at the time, right? And the kid's younger than me, like, by a year, so he's probably, like, 15, 15 and a half. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, bro, he pulls up, like, in his mom's hoopty, bro, like, that shit's all wrecked and shit. But, I mean, he still pulled up, bro. At least he got the delivery whip. Pulls up, bro. And at the time, bro, I'm not gonna lie, me and my cousin had converted, collected like what, seven dollars and quarters, bro, and the rest was cash, right? So we paid him like seven dollars and quarters and then 13 cash, right? Pulled up to him, paid him. My cousin stayed in the crib, right? So I pay him, he has me the brownie, bro. And this, I can't even see the brownie yet because it's in this like pharmacy bag. Like, y'all know, y'all ever been to like a pharmacy like Walgreens or like Rite Aid and you get like um prescribed pills to you and they put in like that pharmacy bag bro like exactly like that bro but it just didn't have a brand name on it it just said like rx or some shit i don't know what the fuck that shit px rx i don't know what the fuck it said on it cheers but yeah so me and my cousin we get in the crib right and we open it up bro we see how small it is we're tripping my cousins are like, damn, bro, he scammed us. I think he scammed us, bro. Like, look at this little ass brownie food. Like, if this shit on here, I swear, bro. <coughs> so we um split it in half. Eight, I ate half, yeah, half, bro. That shit tastes disgusting, bro. Like, bro, oh my god, I I'm remembering it. I didn't even want to finish it, bro. Like, I think I had to drink like some water with it, like to to like gulp it down, bro. Just cause it was so nasty, bro. Like, it wasn't nasty, but like, bro, it wasn't enjoyable. It was like. It was low-key nasty. So, yeah, bro. I, we ended up finishing that, bro. Literally, not even 30 minutes later, my boy Miguel knocks out. Because it's already nighttime. It's already, like, 9.30 when we got the edibles. But, yeah, my boy knocks out, bro. He just straight up knocks out, right? 
And then I'm just chilling, bro. I'm watching YouTube for like the next 40, 30 minutes, right? And like then 30 minutes is still not hitting me. I'm tripping like, bro, low key, he did scam us, bro. Like 15 minutes later, bro. 15 minutes later, bro. I'm literally laying in my bed, right? Watching YouTube and I'm tired as hell, bro. And I'm already starting to feel funny, bro. I'm starting to feel like I'm sinking in my bed, bro. Like I'm starting to just feel weird as fuck, bro. Like I'm sinking in my bed, right? And I start to get a little tired, bro. So I'm like, maybe I'll just go to sleep, bro. I close my eyes, bro. And as I'm closing my eyes, like slowly, bro, the more I close them, the more it feels like my body's being lifted up, bro. Like into the sky, bro. Like dead ass. It felt like I was being lifted into the sky, bro. And it was getting scary because my stomach was like, you know when you get like that stomach? Like, you know, like, I don't know what y'all, I don't know how to explain it, bro. But like, I was like scared every time i close my eyes i was like bro i'm gonna die if i close my eyes i was thinking i was gonna die like if i fully close my eyes that i was never gonna wake up that's what i was thinking i was tripping bro and i was kind of like spinning a little bit bro like it was just a whole mess bro so like i ended up knocking out after that like it was just it was a cool ass feeling though like i liked it like it was chill like i wasn't tripping on it like it was cool i kind of messed with the little trip that i got so literally like i didn't fall asleep yeah bro i knock out right and like at 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m., bro. I'm knocked out like a light, bro. And you, it's on a little rolling chair like this. He, like, my cousin Miguel's on a little rolling chair like this because we shared a room at the time. He would sleep on the floor and I sleep on the bed because um, he had just came from, um, I think it was, like, Arizona, bro, and he was just chilling with us, staying with me and my grandpa over here because <laughs> I live with my grandpa, if you don't know, but yeah. So, bro literally is in a spinning chair like this, and my, like, he's face, like, literally facing the exact same way I'm facing. He's literally on this wall facing that way, and my bed's literally in front of me. So, my I'm, I'm, I'm laying there, and he's just looking at me, bro, and he's like, Aaron, Aaron. And I wake up, bro, and I'm like, what the fuck, bro? I wake up, like, I look at bro, and he's just sitting here, like, like, like this. Oh, fuck my ankle down, bro. Then, hold on. That was not part of the story time. Chill out, y'all. It's just that I fucked up my ankle hella bad and when I rolled right now, I just fucking put pressure. No, but yeah, he was rolling like back and forth like this. Well, not rolling, but like, you know, like, you know how these chairs kind of spin? He was just like spinning like back and forth, like tripping a little bit. And I was just like, foo. He's all like, I think my heart's like slowing down, bro. Like, I think I'm gonna die, bro. Like, for real, bro. Like, I'm not feeling good. And he looked like he was panicking, bro. And like for me, I don't know if I was still lit or what, but like I looked at this one, I just started dying, bro. Like I thought that shit was funny, cause Miguel's like an OG chiefer, bro. I didn't never expect that this would like be like, I'm tweaking off of Adam, bro. Just take me to the ER, bro. And I was just looking at this food like, what the fuck, bro? Like I just thought he was trolling at first, so I just laughed at him like, well, you're like dumb as fuck. And I was like, I started, I laid back, but yeah, bro, it was like, yeah, I don't feel good at all, bro. Like. I'm feeling like I'm gonna die, bro. Like, I'm gonna have a heart attack or something. And I was like, fool, go tell my tia. Because at the time, it was um, my tia was living with us too. Because my grandpa had work the next day, so we didn't want to wake up with my grandpa. And my tia was like in the room right behind us. So I was just like, go tell my tia, bro. Tell, tell her, like, that you're like. I forgot what he had told her, bro. Like, that he was having, like, I don't know what it was. I think he told her, like, he felt like he had got food poisoning or some shit. Or like he was gonna have a heart. I don't remember what he had told her because this was like two, three years back. But I was so slumped out in my bed that I didn't even go to the ER with them or nothing. My boy smashed up to the ER by himself with my tia food. And like she never even noticed that that food was tweaking off the edible the whole time she drove him there. The whole time she drove him back. I'm sure the doctor knew. Ain't no way the doctor didn't know my boy was tripping off of Eddie, bro. Cause like it was a thousand milligram edible. We took 500, 500, bro. That shit had me tweet. And ever since that day, Ever since that day, bro, I haven't had an edible make me feel like that, like, ever, bro. Like, I can't recreate that moment with edible ever again, bro. Like, it's just, I've taken edibles from the dispensary and all of that, bro. Nothing hits the same, bro. Like, that, maybe it was just my tolerance, bro. But, like, that shit had me feeling dank as fuck. Like, that feeling when I was laying in my bed, it was a bomb-ass feeling, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, people be saying, like, they be having bad trips off, like, weed and shit. But, like, every time, bro, I've been high as fuck. It's always been, like, a good trip. Anytime I've tripped, it's always been a good trip. And I hope it stays that way. But, yeah. I hope y'all like this little vid. It's your boy Aaron Reviews. The berry, blueberry. What kind of? Berry gang. This is a berry gang plug play right here. Cheers, gang. I hope y'all like that.
tune in for more fire content. I don't know what else I'm going to be dropping today. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be dropping the rating subscribers cards. <coughs> Either that or something else, bro, or like a review. <coughs> I already smoked this. I was going to review this. <coughs> but I was like, it's just going to get age restricted. So I'm like, I'm going to chill on that. And then I'm going to try to film something else. But I hope you like that. It's your boy, Aaron Reviews. And I'm out.